So the Oppo Find N has been out for almost a year now. I can actually remember very, very vividly when this uh, little teaser video first came out. I was very, very excited about this device. The form factor looked really, really cool to me. And like I said, it's been about a year now since it was released and we finally have some information about the Oppo Find N 2, the sequel to this device. Now, some of this stuff comes from some different leaks. I've kind of organized it together into a nice, um, clear and succinct little thread. And we'll talk through these details here uh, as we go forward. Let's take a look at that now. So like I said, Oppo Find N2, which is the name of the device, the Find N2, these specs have apparently partially leaked. Now the first source of, uh, the primary source really for a lot of this, is uh, someone called Digital Chat Station on Weibo. Uh, they've leaked a lot of things over the years and they've been very, very accurate for the most part. This is a little bit confusing though, right? The way this is written, it's just kind of confusing. So I've done my best to kind of make it a bit easier to understand as we go forward. So the cover display, now, this is a big thing for the Oppo Find in original because this thing was just really oddly shaped. I think you can very clearly see from this photo what I'm talking about. When you compare this thing, to something like the Z Fold line, which is a lot skinnier and a lot taller, more of a TV remote uh, looking device. This thing is very, very short and very, very wide. And some people would actually say that it's too short and too wide. I don't think I would actually go to that point because I am a Surface Duo user. And so clearly I like very short, very wide screens. And once you get used to them, <clears throat> I feel like there is some added utility there. So. That's what we look like before. The sequel is going to look fairly similar. So as you can see here, 5.54 inches. It's an OLED running at 2120 by 1080 resolution. So it's it's a 1080p screen, which is totally fine for a cover display. And it is now running 120 hertz. Now it's important to remember the original, the one you're looking at here in this photo, was only running at 60 hertz and it was ever so slightly smaller. So I would imagine that they've just trimmed up some of these bezels a little bit. Uh, probably not a real big difference there. And I, I would guess that the actual shape of the device is going to be very, very similar. Resolution is up from 988 by 1972. So again, not a huge difference there. Of course, I've written these inversed when compared to these, so my mistake on that one. Flip a second. Either one, just pick one and flip it, and it'll make, it'll make more sense. It's 2120 by 1080, and we'll say 1972 by 988. So again, the device is not changing a whole lot there, just getting, getting the higher refresh rate screen and probably slimming up some of those bezels. If we look at the tablet display, the internal screen, uh, really nothing appears to be changing. It's still a 7.1 inch OLED running at 1920 by 1792 at 120 hertz. It looks to be the exact same internal screen. I don't think anything much is changing. That's honestly fine. I like the shape and the design of the thing already. I like how wide it is. When you imagine having a split screen app right down the middle, you have two very, very nice workspaces to use there so again not a whole lot changing there although there are some other things that are going to be changing quite a bit if we go down and we look at the camera setup apparently we're getting a fairly substantial upgrade here so the oppo find in 2 will have a triple camera set up on the back so that's not changing it is still a triple camera but boy oh boy is it an improved triple camera setup the primary camera is going to be a 50 megapixel sony imx 800 the ultra wide is a 48 megapixel sony imx 581 and there's a 32 megapixel 2x telephoto rounding out what I say here is a very nice on paper setup. There will also be a couple of 32 megapixel selfie cameras, one on the cover display and one on the tablet screen. Now, if you look down here a little bit lower, you'll see that by comparison, you know, the, the primary sensor, you know, the megapixel is staying the same, but it is a different sensor. So that could lend to, you know, different performance. But then the ultra wide and the tele are much larger resolution sensors. And in particular on the telephoto, going up to a 32 megapixel uh, 2X tele, you're going to be able to do some digital cropping and probably perform pretty well past 2X, maybe 3, 4, and even 5X might be reasonable expectations to have for that setup. Now, I don't think it's going to perform as well as something that has a proper periscope zoom. Don't get me wrong there, but I think, again, on paper, this is a pretty nice camera setup, and that's a big deal for a lot of people now. Speaking internally, the N2 is going to be rocking the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, so we're not, you know, going with the newest, newest, newest thing, but that 8 Plus Gen 1 is very, very good. It's a very efficient 
uh, system on a chip, and it is very powerful. It's not going to show any age at all because, well, it's not very old at all, and it's going to be really, really solid. A 42, I'm sorry, a 45, 20 milliamp hour battery charging at 67 watts is going to be really solid as well. And if you're using that cover display a lot, using that phone screen, boy, that thing's probably going to last a really long time with this system on a chip and a battery that size. Now, one area I see here that might be getting a little bit overlooked with these sorts of devices comes to the weight and the thickness, the actual, you know, the girth of this device. The Oppo Find N was rather heavy and it was rather thick. You can see here this photo from Android Authority actually shows it next to a, looks like an iPhone and something else maybe. And it's, you know, it's as thick as two phones, right? It's a very, very thick device. And it was also fairly heavy, 275 grams, 15.9 millimeters when folded over. The N2 is apparently going to drop down to 233 grams and only 14.6 millimeters. So that is a substantial reduction in the weight and thickness of this device. So it's going to make it much more pocketable. 233 grams is still heavy, but it's nowhere near as bad as 275. This thing is going to feel much, much better in your pocket. Now, as for rumors on release date, regions, prices, there's really not much to go on besides this. Current reporting is that they will probably launch or unveil the N2 at this, I don't know how you pronounce this, I-N-N-O day, Eno day would be my guess, uh, 2022, which is probably in mid-December. So they're going to unveil it probably mid-December. Price, regions, hard to say. There were some rumors that Oppo was looking to bring some of their uh, phones to other regions to, to expand a little bit further. There were some rumors about this, but I can't find anything super firm to say like, yeah, it's coming to North America for this price. Not really much I can say there. Hopefully it does come at least, you know, to a global launch so that it will be easier to import. Uh, I know that a lot of people would probably be excited to see that, but I personally really want to see more of these devices come stateside uh, on their own. No import necessary would be very, very cool. It's also important to note this is something I talked about in the video way back. Oppo and OnePlus are, you know, a, a couple of brands that are intrinsically linked, and we've seen OnePlus basically bring Oppo phones to America under new banners and vice versa, so it is not outside the realm of possibility to see the Oppo Find and come to America as a OnePlus device. Hopefully, this is something that can happen sooner than later. Guys, let me know, are you excited about the Oppo Find N2? Do you like that form factor, the wider screen? Does it remind you of Surface Duo without the hinge down the middle? I think that it definitely does do that for for me. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on more. I will see you in the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.